This video will outline the difference between the past tense form of verbs and past participles, as well as look at how to form and use present participles. To write in past simple, we use the past tense form of the verb. For regular verbs, this just means adding ed. Here are two examples. Ask, asked. Work, worked. An action can be sent into the past with the use of a verb in its past tense form. Today I work. Yesterday I worked. I ask my friend, I asked my friend. With a single word, a past tense form of a verb, we can refer to an event that happened in the past. Let's now look at past participles. The past participle of the verb ask is asked. The past participle of the verb work is worked. While the past tense form of a verb can be used on its own to send an action to the past, a past participle needs something else. It needs a form of the auxiliary verb have. For example, have worked. I have worked all day. Had asked. I had asked my friend. You can see from these two examples that past participles are used to form present perfect and past perfect tense. In these two examples, the past tense form of the verb and the past participle are the same. So why is it important to know the difference between the two? With regular verbs, the past tense and the past participle are the same. But that's not the case with irregular verbs. Let's have a look at some. The past tense of the verb begin is began. The movie began at three. The past participle of begin is begun. The movie has begun. The past tense of choose is chose. They chose pizza yesterday. The past participle is chosen. They have chosen pizza. Here's another irregular verb, speak. The past tense form is spoke. She spoke to me this morning. The past participle is spoken. She has spoken to me twice today. Now let's look at present participles. To form these, we add ing to the end of a verb. This even works for irregular verbs. Asking, working, beginning, choosing, speaking. We can use present participles as adjectives, there was only one working fan. And as verbs, the teacher is asking a question. For more English videos, including activity lessons, be sure to subscribe using the easy teaching icon below. easyteaching.net